Hey everybody, Sean Sewell, Gamer.com. This is a long-term review on the Road Shower 4S, uh, recently purchased by Yakima. So we have Yakima Rails, Yakima Slim Shady. Um, so they bought Road Shower a couple months ago and sent us out a unit in, I think, March to test out. It is now week of July 4th and I'm gonna show you what I like about it, how it works, and um, give you my impression on it, okay? So, the Road Shower 4S holds 4 gallons of water at 8.3 pounds per gallon. That is, I don't know, uh, 34 pounds of water, give or take. The contraption stuff is hardcore metal, uh, about 25 pounds, so budget 60 to 70 pounds of weight when you go to mount it onto your rack. Right here I have one of the Yakima HD bars, the extra wide ones, so we can get our roof nest, the Slim Shady, and the Road Shower all mounted up there. It is a one-person job. Just mounts right here and right there. You can slide it back and forth to where you want it. Super simple. The hose that it comes with is just blue one right here. It has these little fittings that'll help hold the hose in place. And finally attach it up here. For reference, I loaded this uh, with water off my neighbor's hose 10 days ago in Denver, Colorado. We drove out here to Ohio where it is currently hot as hell and um, hasn't lost any pressure. So 10 days on the road, 1,000 plus miles, and um, it's ready to shoot some water for you. So there's a fitting right here. I put mine back here. There's a hole just like this on the front, and I'll show you in a second. So you can have it in the back or the front. Very nice. It comes with some plumber's tape. Definitely use that. Get that guy in there. It's either off or he's on right now. We'll find out real quick. Let's see what you think, on or off? Off, cool. So you would turn it off. There's a coupler, and I'll show a picture of that below. And that coupler allows you to put a garden hose from your home or your neighbor's home and put water into here. So you open her up, let the water come in here. And I didn't know how much water to use at first. I was pretty nervous, to be honest. And then water started shooting at the top. I was like, oh, surely I broke this on the first try. But no, they're smart. There's a radiator cap right here. Blows off the pressure when it gets to 65 PSI or higher. This also opens up so you can dump water into it, the old school way, and add pressure using a bike pump right there. So, and there's a, the front hole I was mentioning too. So don't use that if you're using one in the back, obviously. All right, how much pressure will this guy have? Quite a bit, look at that. Some high quality H2O from the Rocky Mountains. So, how cool is that? I mean, honestly, so you get four gallons of water on the road. Uh, it came with a little sticky thermometer to go on the side to let you know the temperature. The temperature of this water, it's been in the sun a lot. Oh yeah, it wasn't too bad. I always test back my hand before I spray a kid. And it's good, it's good to go. So $330, yakima.com, REI. Other places, I'll have links below where to purchase it for yourself. It mounts onto most standard bars, as you see here. These are the Yakima, but other brand bars work just as well. Um, if I can install it and use it in, a, in about 15, 20 minutes, you should be able to as well. And um, yeah, we're big fans of it. Pressurized water on the go. Looks good. Road Shower 4S. Um, I'll try and find some more videos out there that are more detail on installation and all their stuff, but I just want to give you my opinion, my wife and I and dog's opinion on this guy after four months of use. Um, it's been in blizzards, it's been in, we had three inches of rain in one hour yesterday. It's been through some stuff, it's been through road trips, it's been dropped, it's, we tried to break it, we haven't broke it yet. So, and I like pressurized water. Sean Sewell, gimmit.com, Road Shower 4S. Have links below where to get your own. Till next time, take care.